Today we're going to be taking a look at the FNH FNS9. Reviews coming right up. Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at the FNS9 handgun by FNH. As you'll see, it comes in this nice blue and black hard case with all ex included accessories that you're going to need to hit the range. First things first, you can see here, this is the FNS9 itself. Going to take a brief overview of that in a minute. You also get included three 17 round 9mm magazines, as well as an additional back strap, which can be replaced with the one that is currently on the firearm. You also get a couple instruction booklets and a FNH branded gun lock as well. As you can see here, I'm pointing out the additional back strap. This is the flat back strap. Included with it is also the, uh, what they call the thick strap, I believe. That came included on my handgun. I opt to use that one instead because I have larger hands. Here I'm just showing you the paper clip I use because these back straps are a real pain to change. They give you this little tiny hole you have to push in a spring retainer and then slide the back strap off the back. Now here's the handgun in my recommended holster of choice, which is a Safari Land ALS retention holster running the QLS mounting fork so that I can interchange it with different platforms. Uh, this holster was very difficult to find, being that the FNS is not a very common system to run. Here's the handgun itself in the configuration that I use with an Inforce APL Gen 3 in tan. I'm giving you a quick look here at the stippling. It's very, very aggressive patterning, um, but I've grown very, very fond of it, even handling it with gloves on like shown here. Here's a sight picture for you, your standard three profile sight. It's got a U-notch in the rear, which makes target acquisition a lot faster, and a white painted dot up front. Both the front and rear also include tritium inserts for night sights. Uh, I couldn't get a good video of that, but they are tritium and they show up very, very well. Here I'm demonstrating the ambidextrous controls that the FNS features. Both slide lock and magazine release are fully ambidextrous, so left or right-handed shooters will have no problem manipulating this firearm. Here I'm showing you a quick look at the barrel profile. It's very, very thin, especially compared to that of a Glock or similar, but I had very little problems in testing with it overheating or stringing shots. Here I'm disassembling the firearms, same along the same lines of every striker fired handgun. You hit your takedown lever, let the slide go forward. Once it's in place, pull your trigger and push off. Then you pull your your guide spring out and then your barrel one big thing I've noticed with this handgun is that the barrel has developed a lot of finish wear I have about 6,000 to 7,000 rounds through the handgun at this point and I'm seeing a lot of color getting worn off of it so I keep it oiled and I do worry about rust but so far that has not been a problem as you'll see here I shine a light inside the slide, you can see there's normal wear for about six to 7,000 rounds. All handguns will have some finished wear, especially after that round count. Here I'm giving you a little closer look at the slide. The serrations on them are very positive, very, very easy to manipulate. Here's just another demonstration of the ambidextrous controls. The uh, left-handed shooting slide release is very, very stiff to hit but is usable as long as you train with it. I am right-handed, so I don't often transition hands with my handguns. Uh, with rifles I do, but with handguns it's not generally used. Now here I'll set the handgun back down, clear it in a safe direction, and we'll take a quick look at the magazines. There are 17 round 9mm magazines, all metal with a plastic follower, orange so you can see when it's empty. They have the windows for your different counts. 
your takedown pins on the bottom very easy to slide on and off for cleaning and lubrication one thing i don't like is they do have that little lip thank you everybody so much for watching if you liked this video be sure to hit that button down below don't forget to subscribe and check back every sunday for more related content remember be informed and stay free